What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Now in today's video, I am... There's a lot going on today. First of all, it's Da Vinci's birthday. Mm -hmm. Yes, my little Gemini. Hey, dude. <laughs> Drama, it's your brother's birthday. Da Vinci turned one. I feel like we literally just uploaded a video uh, like announcing that we got him, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was not that long ago. It's wild. Like. Come here, boy. All right, so let's talk about makeup. We are about to go on a little adventure to an exotic island with me, Nate, and some of our family. Um, but I can't just go somewhere and turn it off. I have to do a little bit of uh, work. And I, uh, listen, playing with makeup and an island, it sounds good, huh, Drama Lynn? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I... I put out a tweet, you guys, the other day, and I said, what new products should I be reviewing? And besides Kylie Skin, I got a lot of requests to do the new Juvia's Place Foundation Concealer and Setting Powder. Now, Juvia's Place is a really cool brand. They are indie, they're amazing, they're packaging, beautiful. And my girl, Nikki Tutorials, put me on them a few years ago, and I am living that they have a new skincare line. So, I heard a little rumor that it just hit Ulta. When is our flight? Like, in an hour. <laughs> so, we have an hour to run to Ulta and see if they have it. Um, I was just on trend mood and their foundation display is allegedly in most Ulta's. I know sometimes it takes a few days to roll out. So let's pray that it's at the Calabasas location. So we're gonna hop in the car really quickly and go try to get this foundation and then we will try it in Turks and Caicos. Um, okay. It's gonna be a cool one. You ready? Are you? Uh, ready as you're gonna be. They're about to close, so let's get out of here. Okay, we all know how nerve-wracking it is sometimes when you can only buy things online and you have to try to find your uh, shade, right, for the foundation. So, thank God we can go in-store today. I'm just gonna grab like three or four shades and we'll like do a real official match when we're uh, oh, uh, in a different country, you know what I mean? So, let's pray to have my shade. Actually, Juvia's Place has a new concealer and setting powder that just hit the market. I ordered the concealers online and they don't get here until a day after we leave. So, I'm gonna have someone um, mail them. You guys know I always have three bodyguards at my house, my dog sitter, um, and my chef. So someone is gonna go to FedEx and <laughs> mail me the concealers while we're on the island. I'm that dedicated because bitch, we're gonna try it all together. You guys asked, I'm gonna deliver. It's Jeffrey Lynn. Whew, okay. Let's see if they got what I'm looking for. Hi, how are ya? Hi. How's it going? Good. We're looking for the new Juvia's Place Foundation. Please tell me you have it. We do, it's actually right behind you. Oh my god, yes! Hi, Display, how are you doing? Whoa. You guys just put this out, huh? Yeah, a few days ago. Oh my god, okay, that's amazing. We're leaving on a trip in an hour, and I wanted to try the foundation oh, so yeah. bad. <laughs> Look how cute the packaging is, I love it. We'll do a real first impression on the island, but for now, let me just do a little. We'll do a little tester. Oh, they have Isla, Bali. I love their shade names. Okay. You know what I love about this brand is that all the dark shades are first and the lightest shades are last. Love that. You know me, I'm gonna do this real quick then. Watch this. Why does that match really well? Let me do the little darker one too. All right, I think I'm gonna grab shades 740 up until I think 600 or 610. That looks safe, or maybe 630. Ooh, there's one 730 left. So people have already been here because news hit that this was out. Um, and this is allegedly one of the new world's most fullest coverage foundation. So I'm like, girl. We're getting them all. 640. Let's go on the other side. Okay, I'm sweating. <laughs> Whew, okay. Hey, everybody. So, obviously, I 
did not end up trying out this foundation on the island and our trip obviously got cut off short and we've just been dealing with a lot as a family. But today is day seven since Diamond passed away and I can't just sit in my house all day and be sad. I know she wouldn't want that. Um, you guys don't want that for me. And my family has been so sweet. So many people have sent so many gifts and flowers and paintings of diamond and drawings and there's just been so much love sent our way. Um, I just feel really grateful, very humbled by it all. So whew, thank you guys so much. So today I want to try this foundation. I've actually been really dying to just play with makeup and just kind of distract me. I haven't really grieved in a long time. I was someone that had a lot of deaths as a child. My dad passed away when I was five and a half. My grandparents that helped raise me while my mom was drunk half of my childhood, they passed away um, while I was graduating high school. And it was just, whew, girl, it was rough, you know? So I haven't really had something this horrific happen in a while. So we are all just, <sighs> just trying to process everything. Um, but girl, um, I want to try some makeup. I want to see how this works and I want to actually finish this video. So, um, girl, my skin feels dry, you guys. I do want to talk a lot about some stuff today. Um, the title of this video was not to be shocking. I just kind of want to talk about mental health and um, just some topics that have been on my mind. I never really just sit down and do get readies. I'm always reviewing or doing something else. So, Let's dive in. All right, my skin, uh, it's rough. You see that I have pimples, I've been stressed, I haven't shaved off my eyebrows. I really don't give a fuck. I just wanna uh, play with some makeup and try to relax. All right, so we are going to go in with the ever so famous Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I've been using this since my first video on my channel and um, it's just a really good hydrating base. If you want to really lay down your foundation, you don't need a crazy primer. Um, I know that's shocking. What? Primer? You don't really need it. Just really moisturize, press it into your pores, and if the foundation's good, it will lay down on its own. Okay, it's finally time for me to try this elusive I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation from the brand Juvia's Place. Now, this is an Ulta exclusive. It's also available on their website. Now, this retails for only $20. That is a very good price point for one fluid ounce. Now, that is very comparable to a $60 Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, which is um, the same amount of product in there. What else could we compare it to, you guys? YSL, <clears throat> which that is a very heavy price point. Actually, has only 0.84 fluid ounces. So Juvia's Place has a very standard size foundation. Now, here is what the unit carton looks like. It, of course, has their signature colors, their logo, everything always matches with them. I like their packaging. It's just very sleek, and I love how it just all ties in together. As you guys saw, I did go to Ulta. Um, I bought a bunch of shades, like, girl, you know me. I'm like, I don't want a shade match in the store. So I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I mean, I went in. You guys know, I went like, I bought like 15 shades. I did shade match myself on the island, um, and I am shade Cairo 600. So we are gonna try this out today. I did not try it at all yet. So, is it amazing? Um, I know my girl Nikki Tutorials tried this, and girl, she was like, bitch, you need, you need this. So I'm like, okay. Let's see if it's gonna be Jeffree Star approved. All right, now when you open it up, let's see what it looks like. Now, it of course matches the box and it comes in a tube like this. Now, some people were not living that you couldn't see the foundation in the um, product, like the component, like a normal glass or plastic um, bottle. I don't mind that. I have used foundations like that before. Um, like here's a Laura Mercier one. Um, I don't mind it. You know if it's getting empty, it feels lighter, so I don't mind it all. All right, now, I already tried this one um, doing a little swatch, so I do want to show a bottle that has not been opened because it does come sealed, and I think that's really important, and I think that's great. So the foundation will not come off until you pop off that silver seal. I want to try one side with a damp beauty sponge, so we'll use my little Morphe, of course, collab, Jeffree Star sponge. <clears throat> and then on the other side, we'll go in with the foundation brush, which is the JS1 Morphe Jeffree Star foundation brush. And we'll just do a little battle and see which side we like better. I don't want to be sad, you guys. I know a lot of you come to my channel for entertainment and laughter, but I never want to be phony with you guys. And, um, 
We've really been going through it. I have been crying basically for six days straight and my skin, everything's been going through it. My eyes were so swollen for two days. I hid indoors. I haven't been on my phone. Um, and I've just been focusing on family and Nate and being strong for my other dogs. I don't know what anyone else believes in, but Diva, who is 10 years old, he's been going through it. I think, you know, he helped me raise Diamond. So for him to not have his sister there in the house anymore is really affecting him. And he hasn't left my side since. So we're just trying to be strong, you guys. Okay. Let's see if this foundation can cover my depression, my anxiety, and my sadness. Here we go. So this foundation allegedly is going to give me a smooth application, but also very natural. It is soft matte. It is going to give me a flawless coverage. It's a great formula to even out complexion, refine skin texture, and erase blemishes, maintaining the initial finish throughout the day. Suitable for all skin types, including sensitive and oily skin. Now, this foundation, you guys, has a very massive shade range, as well as the concealer, which I want to try today as well. And these are labeled from dark to light, um, similar to Beauty Bakery, which I really love. So let's dive in and let's start with the sponge side on my right over here. Now, allegedly, you don't need a lot, so I don't want to go overboard. I'm going to do a little bit. So I'm literally just going to start there and um, let's see what happens. Oh, wow. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Hello, full coverage. I'm just going to go over my mouth. Oh, wow. So you guys can really see what's happening here. Okay. That one little dollop covered so much. Like, oh, Lord. Okay. So let's keep going. Okay, now we all have seen me in 4K, HD, everything up close, and I have discoloration on my face. Texture really, really smooth, but the discoloration vanished. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's keep blending. Wow, you guys, I'm a little shook right now. Now, I picked a color that was a little more warm. I have been very, like, uh, dead inside, okay? Let's keep it real. So, I want a little bit of warmth to my skin. Of course, when I have concealer and everything is blended out, it will do, um, it will perfectly match, but your girl is fair right now. And I love this shade. I think it's perfect for my undertone, so I'm gonna go down a little bit into my robe area. Whoa, look at the difference, you guys. This side is like, like, <laughs> hi. And then over here, it's like, whoa. It's really luminous, it's pretty. The coverage is definitely there. I love how it's looking on the skin. It's very nice. It almost reminds me of, honestly, the luminous silk a little bit because it's giving me that like natural shine, which could be from the moisturizer and of course, the formula. Wow, okay. Now, let's try the brush. Okay, this side's looking rough, so let's go in with my own brush, of course. And you guys, these are actually back in stock on morphebrushes.com. Ulta, fully sold out every single store in America. I'm like, wow, that's unreal. So thank you guys for supporting the brush launch so massively. It was like, unreal. So, um, okay. Let's dive in, of course, you guys, shade Cairo 600. Let's do a little bit here. Now, we all know that beauty sponges absorb product a little bit. Brushes do not. So I'm gonna go with a dot and see how it looks over here. It's um, in desperate need. I know I'm shading myself a lot today, but girl, that's how I'm feeling. Okay, let's go. Whoa. Okay, I normally don't say this, and this has nothing to do with be this being my brush, but usually I just live for a damp sponge. Like, I think it looks really pretty, but I love how this is applying this as well. It's like, it's just a different experience. Okay, we definitely need another drop. Whoa, I'm a little shook. I'm like, uh, I haven't had a new foundation that I've laid down in a while that I've immediately been like, oh, okay, this is something kind of amazing. Okay, um, what side do I like better? Sponge, of course, was over here, brush over here. What do you guys think? Let's do a little pan. 
Now, the coverage is really beautiful. It is a soft matte like the packaging claimed, and I really like it so far. Obviously, I haven't set it, but it looks really pretty. It isn't drying down weird. It didn't coagulate in any of my dry patches and even over my eyebrow stubble, which is a rarity on this channel. Um, it looks nice. So, let's try their concealer. We have the brand new I Am Magic. It's a magical year, okay? Not to toot my own horn. Hi, Juvia's Place, Magic Star Concealer. How are ya? Okay, but this concealer is um, only $14. That is amazing. You get 10 milliliters at a 0 0.34 fluid ounces. Here is what the packaging looks like. Now, this is a creamy radiant um, formula. It is going to soften and cancel out dark circles, blemishes, and skin imperfections. <sighs> Bring it on. Now, I bought three shades. I got 24, 21, and 23. Now 24 looks very bright uh, and it's the lightest shade. So let's go in and try it. A little might go a long way, I don't know yet. But here's what the packaging looks like. I like how thick and fat it looks. It um, looks really cute. I love the packaging, of course. It matches everything else. And here is what the doe foot looks like. Oh, I love it. I love a large and in charge applicator. All right, now I don't know how full coverage this formula is. It says it, oh yes, this is gonna be brightening, brightening. So I'm gonna start there. That's a lot of product, but I love, I'm gonna blend out. You guys know how I like it. So let's go in with our damp sponge. It's still semi-wet, so let's see how it looks. Bitch is impressed. Okay, so over their own foundation, it looks stunning. It still has a little bit of that luminosity. It looks kind of like glowy. It has skin texture. It doesn't look like dry and like a desert. It, it still looks pretty. Of course, if I set it, it will lose that kind of um, glossy moment, which is obviously up to you if you want to fully set it. How is it gonna look in a few minutes? Will it set itself? Only time will tell. I wanna add more, but it's so pretty I don't need to, because I went in with a lot of product. So let's conceal the rest of the face. Okay, wow. This combo is like giving me everything I need. I'm like, okay, wow, you guys. Okay, now, sad news is that they also have a setting powder. Um, I had it shipped to the island. We obviously left early. So the setting powder is at my uh, house uh, in Turks and Caicos. So will I ever see that package again? I have no idea. So we'll just quickly go in with a little bit of um, my own Magic Star translucent powder and we will set this concealer lightly. I know I don't ever really sit down a lot and just talk, but I think that more people should just be so real and honest. And I know a lot of people watch YouTube for entertainment. I fully get it. But if you have watched someone for a long time, I think it's okay to share and be like, yo, I'm not doing okay right now. Because I think everyone tries to live this picture perfect Instagram airbrushed world and it's just like, ugh. It's, that's fun to an extent, but it's just not reality. Like... I can't relate to anyone that's constantly on, um, no shade to myself, but like all I do if I see a girl, a guy, anyone, and their whole feed is just on the beach, sipping on martinis, just chilling in their fucking Lamborghini. Yeah, that's cute, but reality is, <laughs> there's so much more to that, you guys, you know what I mean? And I think a lot of people don't talk about mental health, and me and Nate, girl, <laughs> we both have depression, we have anxiety, and I think when you see people living these, you know, l like, lives on Snapchat, Instagram, anything, right, a lot of people are afraid to show the bad. They only show the good, so a lot of you guys are maybe tricked or you only assume people are always just living and having the best time on the planet, and that's just not realistic, and I just want to sit here and be like, yo, it may look good half the time, most of the time, but um, shit in your own head can really mess with you. So if you feel alone a lot of the times, you guys, hi. Me, my whole life. You know, I don't have a lot of friends. Me and Nate can barely trust people. It's It's been really rough lately. And, uh, you know, with only a week of diamond passing, it's just been a lot. 
it makes you really realize what's important. Um, you also have to be strong for each other. Thank God I have Nate, you guys. I don't know. I just really think that the universe put him in my life for a reason because I had a really hard time accepting love, loving myself before I met him. So just having him in my life, having him love me and my dogs for the last four and a half years has been such a blessing and definitely has changed me for the better. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna go have some lunch with Nate really quick and go hang out with the dogs. Um, I've been feeling so weird being away from him. We had a trip coming up this week. We canceled it. Um, I am still going to be going to the UK in a few weeks to do my master classes with Mitchell. I cannot wait to see everyone. Um, but before that, we just need some time off. But we're gonna go, uh, Go on a quick little lunch date. We're gonna see how this foundation uh, lasts for the next few hours and I'll be back in a little bit. <sighs> All right, you guys, Nate told me to just keep playing in makeup so he's over here eating with me. Oh, this last week, you guys, oh, my body's so tired, I'm drained. Um, but how are you? That's also an important question is a lot of people might view it as selfish or we have problems accepting that we need to focus on ourselves and make sure that we're good. So, are you good? That's a question you need to ask yourself after watching this video, is how is your mental health really doing as well? Sometimes we need to just really focus on that. Be selfish, let, let someone call you selfish, but unless you're really good, how is everyone else around you gonna be good? I know that makeup's making me feel a little something besides grief, which is really nice. Um, Hi, highlighter. Like next week, hi. Jawbreaker launch, you guys, insane. One of the biggest launches of my career and I'm just like, whew, life is testing me. It's really testing me. So I'm just staying buckled in and you know, trying to enjoy every moment and just appreciate, you know, everything I have. Drama, what do we think about our concealer, honey? Oh! <laughs> Okay, you guys, it's been a few hours. Um, me and Nate just got back from our lunch date. <sighs> it is beautiful outside today. Hi, babe. Hi, baby. <laughs> All right, it's time to really judge these products. What are we looking at here? New foundation, new concealer. Nate doesn't even know what I was trying earlier. So let me look myself right now. We are in uh, the sunshine right here. It is really beautiful out. It's like, what, 80 degrees? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really nice out today. Um, you've seen me try so much stuff in the last four years. Mm -hmm. How does my skin look for real? We need, we need the, Na the Nathan breakdown. I mean, I think it looks really nice. I mean, <laughs> it looks like it's evenly distributed, like, very well, you know? Oh, I blended it? How, what about the formula? Does it look dry? Does it look smooth? Does it look I mean, cakey? It looks, Do no. I look sickening? This doesn't look cakey. I mean, it looks like it's pretty kind of kind of full coverage, but... But still kind of skin-like. Yeah, exactly. Um, I like it. Looking up really close, I like it a lot. Yeah? Yeah. I'm seeing I right think... here that this says Cairo too. What's that? It does. That's a shade name. Oh, sick. Yeah, you've been there. Yes, I have. That's so cool. Nate went to Egypt, what, two years ago? Uh, yeah, it was a couple of years ago. Yeah. Yeah, it was really pretty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, real quickly, back to my skin. Now, listen, for a $20 foundation and a $14, drama Lynn, you're sitting on it, honey. <laughs> and a $14, what do you think, honey? You like it? For the price point, the formula is impeccable. And I didn't know until I just read the bottle, but this foundation is made in Italy. Hi, the formulas that like out there are unreal. Um, an Italian lab does my highlighters. Hi, how are ya? My skin looks good, you guys, it really does. Like, from being so emotional all week and having really dry skin and not really taking care of myself, this foundation like laid really, really nice for only, what I've been wearing it for like, what, Nate, three hours now? Uh, at least. Everything looks intact. There's a few cracks around my nose. That's normal. Um, and I probably would have used a little bit more um, of a pore filling primer because my nose girl, she's going through it. But besides that, like, I am impressed. So without further ado, let's get this over with. The Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation and Concealer are... Jeffree Star approved. Yes! 
Um, for an indie brand to come on the market with their first ever foundation, they're killing it. Let's just say that right now. So if you want to try something that is very full coverage this year, if you want to look sickening all summer and um, look like a doll, then try it out. Let me know how you feel. Whew. All right, you guys. Um, I'm thoroughly impressed. Today was... <sighs> it was good. I'm okay. Um, I think the next rest of the year <laughs> is gonna be really hard. It's also um, been really difficult to just be out of our routine and only have five dogs. Today, actually, they're all getting groomed. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Delicious. Look how cute they look. <laughs> Everyone just got little haircuts. Everyone's freshly bathed. Um, but it's a little quiet out here, so... Um, thank you for watching today's video. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.